What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. At the very start of the season, I'm talking end of February, beginning of March, in that area, we set out on a mission to complete a catfish slam. By that, what I mean is catching all three species of catfish that are most common in the area where we're at, including the flat hip, the blue catfish, and the channel. This is how that went. She's on. She's on. This big. That is a fat fish. Beautiful fish. So today we'll be targeting flathead catfish. We're gonna catch some bluegill for bait. These guys are all tangled up together like lovers do. Oh, hold on, we got worms jumping out. Rogue worms. All right, so second cast, we got a perfect size bluegill. So we're gonna get some water in this cooler. That'll be my job. And uh, we this have little our... guy's coming with us. It's in his temporary home, very temporary, like 15, 20 minute home. Thanks, buddy. Let's see if we can't get one more little fish. And if not, we might have to just take our one little guy. I just can't believe there's nothing back up in there. You wanna just settle for one right now? We're just gonna use the bait we have and where we're going, we will uh, target panfish, but I don't wanna keep him waiting any longer. All right, here we go. Um, I'm probably gonna need to carry something else because he's heavy. I see this road is sketch. Gonna feel the wind off the vehicles. This is the embankment we're gonna be going down. We just gotta find our little path down. This is where we go down at. It's a lot steeper than the camera makes it seem. Let me cross and I'll help you with him too. I'll go first and you can pass him down to me. Here we are. We're gonna get everything set up and we'll catch you guys in just a second. Guys, we just got that out there and it's already getting some action. Maddie's on sit and watch duty. She's waiting just in case something decides to take that since we've already gotten a hit. While she does that, I'm gonna try to get us one more little sunfish, a bluegill, any type of panfish. When I walk away and start targeting something else is always when Maddie gets the bite. Yo, I had to step away for a second and Maddie got something. Yo, <laughs> around here, this is a nice large mouth. You usually don't really catch them. This is more smallmouth territory. That's a three pounder all day. One ounce away from being a three pound fish. Very nice. We just got a bite on the big pole, the live bait. So we're gonna come back down here and kind of sit with that pole and give Maddie a turn to go do what she wants to do for a little bit while I babysit. Oh, big bird. That thing came out of left field. We just got a really big hit on uh, this hit again. Oh, take it. There it is. He might've gotten off. I can't believe that. Thing was hit hard. That sucks. We are back at the river. Back at it today, and we will keep grinding until we get what we came for. That's part of the fun, in my opinion. We like exploring different sections of the river and being out on the river. It does make when you catch a big one a lot more rewarding than if you would have just gotten it on the first cast. So I enjoy it. We are gonna switch things up. Up, oh, and it's already got a bite. Let me hurry up because we're already getting a bite and tell you guys what we got going on. A company sent us this liver that is infused with garlic and salt. So we're trying that out. We're hoping to get on some blues. There's not a whole lot of them in this section of the river, but we still, we want to try. But we're getting a bite, so we'll see what happens. We got this funky chicken liver on here. And as you can see, I have the hook hidden in here. Um, and then I just kind of mush it into a ball.
All right, guys, so we've got the catfish pole out. Well, that is getting nibbled on. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this crawdad around here at the um, shallow part of the bank. Don't wanna go too far away from this pole because it is getting some action. So if it does take it, I wanna be right here nearby to grab it. So I really don't want my pole going into the river. All right, the pole's still shaking a little bit, so we're gonna get a, give it a little bit longer before reeling it in to check the bait. Ooh, she's on. She's on. It's big. It's big. This ain't, this ain't small. She's almost at the bank. Uh, Ray, walk down over here. Okay. Or actually, nope, you were right. She's coming this way. That is a good cat right there. That's a blue. blue cat. That's a blue cat. She almost took my pole into the river. And that is why, guys, I said, I'm gonna stay near this pole because I do not want it going in the river. What a beautiful fish. That is a gorgeous fish. I'm gonna use pliers because they do have little teethies. And yes, they they're like oh, sandpaper. Really? Their lips are super fat. So we like to do it with lip grippers. You don't have to, but um, it's just easier way to handle them. Look how fat that fish is, y'all. That is a fat fish. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Definitely gonna get a picture with this girl. We will take a gorgeous blue. All right, this girl's prolapsing a little bit. So we're gonna get this beautiful girl's release. y'all to take a second and look at all this trash this is one of the spots one of our favorite spots to fish if you're into fishing or anything outdoorsy pick up after yourself it really doesn't take that long if you brought something take it back with you we're gonna um, spend some time down here picking up some of this stuff and i strongly encourage anybody else that comes across a bunch of trash i know you don't want to touch certain things and you can't always pick up stuff, but if you can, leave the place a little bit better than what you found it. We have a few bags with us. We're probably not gonna be able to get everything, but we're gonna get as much as we can. Places like this, if you wanna be able to keep fishing them, you gotta take care of them. Looks a lot better already. And that's it. It took us, what, two minutes? Barely even that. All right, guys, we are back at the river today. We're just going to be focusing on flatheads. We got a bucket full of panfish. We're going to get a fish casted out and wait and see what happens. It's not quite sunset yet, as you can see. I'm waiting for that sun to go down just a little bit more. We think that's probably when we're going to get our fish. All right, guys, we have a fish on. I actually had to run and grab a light real quick, so this guy must have taken the bait while I was gone. Big one? Yeah, big one. Alright, so We just lost a true river monster. So how big did that cat feel? Like 30 pounds. And we're willing to bet it was probably a flathead. The bait fish we used was bigger than my hand fully spread open, it was huge. So that is disappointing, but we have a few more bait fish left, so we're gonna keep trying. You almost had it in. It's all right, bring up another bait and keep going. Yes! It's a flathead, guys! 
This is not the size we were after. Unfortunately, we hooked into that and it got loose. But this is the species we are after. We finally did it. Well, guys, we finally got what we were coming for. The elusive flathead catfish. This isn't the size that we're after, so we're going to keep trying. But isn't this a beautiful fish? Look at her colors. Real powerful fish. I know it, at first I said it felt small, but once it got closer to the bank, she had me concerned. I thought it was going to be a, a big one, but no, this is just a little baby. So we're going to go ahead and release this girl. Hopefully we'll catch her next season. She'll be a little bit bigger. All right, girl. Thank you for the fight. We're just going to give her a second to come to. It won't take long. I can feel her trying to kick away now. All right, there she goes. Happy and healthy. On to find some more fish to eat. So now we have to do that again. Oh, he's super little. Aww. What is that? That's a catfish. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a tiny baby channel. That is probably the littlest channel I think I've ever caught. What a cutie. Ooh. Oh, damn. All right, we got him. Thanks, buddy. Careful when you let him go, too. Chunky channel. We're gonna get this beautiful baby right back in the water. Thank you, pretty girl. Oh, oh. she is ready. Oh, yeah, this is a good one, too. Just casted it out. That's crazy. That is crazy, right? You want to get the net? We're going to need it. Yeah. the bait hit the water I was like uh Ray I think something's on. She devoured that blue girl. That's a big girl. Let's just take a minute to appreciate how pretty she is. Look how beautiful guys. Is that not just a awesome looking fish? So let's let her go. Beautiful fish. Alright it's time to send this pretty girl back where she came from so she can grow and become even bigger. of the season. This is now the very end of the season, the month of October. Even though we completed our mission and we caught the channel, the blue, and the flathead and completed the slam, we were really hoping to catch a new PB and be able to hold in our hands and share with you guys a true river monster. This will probably be the very last day we come out and catfish until next year at the start of a brand new season. So this is our last shot at really making that happen. Fingers crossed for us. Hopefully we can get that new PB where I'm gonna go help Maddie and we're gonna catch a few more bait fish. Gonna put us a worm and try to catch us some little pan fish. Just gonna put us a worm on. Let's go get them. This will be our last uh, shot at getting our big fish. 
in a minute. There we go, guys, number one. And what we're gonna do is put some water in this bucket so that he has a nice little temporary home. Got to be good right there. All right, fish number one down. Now we need more. You guys see that bird right there? We named him Long Neck Larry, and he harasses us every time we come to the spot. Maddie gave him a fish, one of our uh, bait fish one day, and now every time he sees us, he, he stays at a safe distance, but he's close enough to, you know, in case we're feeling generous, he's like, I'm here, you can always throw one of those fish this way. <laughs> Larry. Enjoy, buddy. Our next bait fish. That's a nice size one, too. That's what we're looking for right there. We're both rigged up. We're gonna both give it our all right now and try to get some more panfish. Teamwork. Oh, what does Maddie have? Come on, let's go help her. What is that? Is it a catfish? She's got a freaking catfish on a worm. Yeah, I turned around, I was like, that's not a panfish. These little ones are what you gotta watch out for, guys. And it's a common misconception that these whiskers are what get you, they're not. It's these side fins and this top fin. So what you wanna do in order to get this guy, you wanna come up like this and make sure you stay behind these fins. And just like that, that's how you handle a catfish. Just be behind the fins. You wanna hold him? There you go. There's Maddie's catch. She got poked by a little one before, so now she only messes with the big ones. Cute little guy on a worm. There he goes. Now, uh, let's see if we can catch bait to get a bigger catfish. All right, let's keep trying, guys. That was funny. Not what uh, I was expecting Maddie to reel in, but you know, it's becoming dark out, sun's starting to set, those little guys do start biting. I've noticed when the panfish cut off, the catfish cut on. Got something, y'all, I don't know what. Fish. All right, guys, remember, with these little ones especially, you want to start at the bottom, come up. Be better if I can get. All right. All right, guys, we're going to throw him back. So we had to do a little bit of surgery on that catfish, but he's good. It makes it really hard to catch bait fish when those little channels move in. We're going to try a little bit longer, and then we might have to... Just work with what we got. Got another fish on. Another catfish. Flat up. Flat up. Yeah, you got him. Hold him tight. It's been a long time coming, you guys, but we're finally concluding our video. We did complete our main mission, which was to catch the three most common species of catfish in our area. But what we didn't do is catch our new PB. We had really hoped to land a giant. We're gonna get our giant one day. Be honest with you guys, this was a tough season for us in terms of catfish. We still have a lot to learn, but we did learn a lot and I cannot wait to take that into the next season. So that's something to look forward to. We will eventually get our giant, but in the meantime, we're gonna be out here exploring new places, learning new things, and most importantly, having fun. And I encourage you all to do the same. 
Remember, fishing is for everyone. So get out there, enjoy yourself, learn something new, explore a new place, and have fun, you guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. But as always, we will catch you in the next one. Peace.